comments and then we talk about them. I'm Meg Turner. I'm Trish Hirschberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lacey Green. I swear. Yes, she is Lacey Green. She's our special guest. Thanks, guys. Welcome to the show. Oh, Steve, it's so nice of you to do. Oh, yes. This is great. You guys are sharing a bean. How's that feel? You can stop that now. Okay. All right. We're very excited to have her and we're going to jump right in with our first video, which is SourceFed Nerd Does Comic Con 2013. This was basically just like an intro video where we were telling you guys what we were excited to see and all that fun stuff. A -na 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 <laughs> says, oh Meg, that corset looks like it's killing you. Because it was. Because it was, but didn't it look pretty? That's a thing about like aesthetics over like your personal game. Oh yeah. No, especially in cosplay <laughs> because like if it's if it hurts, it's probably gonna look good. It right. probably yeah. looks good. Yeah. How long did you have that thing on for, though? Um, sh I just had that on for like two hours, so we tightened it even tighter than normal. If I'm wearing it all day, it's a little bit looser. But I, I don't think I could do that. It was yeah. full you are on, a brave like, woman. But do you Rib. do like super, super painful high heels for looks or no? No. No? I am all about the comfort. Okay, no corsets, no high heels, no things that are uncomfortable. If I could wear pajamas or underwear all day. <laughs> Only. I'm working okay toward that. that. That's like my end goal. You know? yeah. Everybody in onesies. I got two onesies at home, so I am already Whoa. ready to go. Oh, I know. Just Stop. did they have the butt flap? Wait, two onesies. Is that an oxymoron? <laughs> Dang, that was a zinger. Say No More 2004 said, OMG, corsets so need to come back in style. Meg, you can probably speak to this better. Are they out of style? Oh, they are. Oh. Well, you can't wear them yeah, like in this shape yeah, without it being a little weird. It's but a little uh, I say yes, they should come back in style because a lot of my friends who have back problems and stuff wear them, and it makes it so much better because you have to sit up straight. Uh, but yeah. also, no, because they are so damn painful. Well, I think they should come back in style. You just don't lace them as like to the painful yeah. point because they do still give you structure even if you don't lace them to the painful point. I personally don't mind the painful part of them because they look so good when you get them there. Like I'm like just. Pull that. Well, mm -hmm. the thing is, there's mm -hmm. no such thing as not lacing it to the painful point because then it's not on correctly. Like, if it's not tight, then you're... Well, I mean tight, but not, like, digging into your rib Well, right, but tight. even when it's tight, you've worn it for four hours, it hurts. After like, it a while. Hurt. I think we need to talk about the most important aspect of the corset, which is boobs. That's true. Boobs. But if you have any sort of, like, not... It together. Mm -hmm. I don't know, not perfectly spherical boobs, you get, like, the weird boob shelf that happens. Doesn't yeah. matter, boobs. Yeah. Squishy on the side. Yeah. Shelves. Don't matter, boobs. Bookshelves. Yeah, boob shelves are great. Right, you put stands. a cookie on there and a little glass of champagne. <laughs> Doesn't matter, so yes. boob. That's what happened. Uh, uh, Dan Pert says, "I want to be where the people are. I want to see them fangirling." That one oh didn't. Well, that works syllable wise. I want to see, want to see them fangirling. Sing maybe? it with me, guys. Walking around the those. those what, what do you call them? Boobs. Browsing through YouTube, you don't get too far. Money's required for a DCC asking questions. Asking questions. What's, What's the word? Panels. Up where they stock, up where there's fun, up where they cosplay all day in the sun. SDCC, wish I could be part of that world. Free t-shirt to you, Dan yeah. Pert. So uh, look for a message in your YouTube inbox from us so we can get your size and all that fun info, and we'll all sign it for you. Yeah, and good luck getting into Comic-Con next year. It sounds like you really want to go, but it's super tough. But I've got you've got the Lord on your side and my beard. So what brings you to Comic-Con is the video we did while we were at Comic-Con, and uh, is when I was in my Ewok costume hugging random people, and especially that uncomfortable person at the end of the video that wasn't into the hug, but you know... Whatever. It was a sweat. To be fair, it was a very sweaty hug by the end of oh, that video. Yeah. I got an Ewok hug towards the end of that video, and it was like, oh, I love you, Steve, and now all of your body yeah. fluids are yeah. on me. It was mm -hmm. urine and Through semen the Ewok. and everything. All oh, the God. fluids. No. Tears. No. <laughs> David R. said... <laughs> David R. said, I love how whenever Steve hugs someone, it sounds like raw meat being squished yeah, together. Yeah, so what was that? Can we talk about that? What? Who mic'd it? Because I think it had like a, because the mic was in my thing, in the, was in the like. It was in your boobies? In the hood. Okay. In the hood, yo. And it, 
I don't know. It made like a crinkly <laughs> sound. Well, whenever you crunch fabric near it, it makes like a crinkle sound. Yeah, but it sounded so strange. It like, sounded I don't know like why. squishy raw meat. Yeah. It's it a almost... really strange description, though, for the yeah. mic crinkling sound. Like, well, I wonder, meat, I wonder if it was like sweaty skin mm, squishing around it little, or something. I don't know if I was sweet. that sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sweaty skin. Actually, you upset Danny Hartley, who said a crunch noise occurred during each Ewok hug, and I was pretty concerned for the safety of the hug receiver. All right, I broke a couple ribs, but I yep. took care of their hospital bill. So Absolutely. Totally okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Thomas mm-hmm. McIsaac says, Today I started my bucket list. The first thing on it, Ewok hug by Aww. Steve. I'll come to VidCon. I'll give you all the Ewok hugs. All the Super Ewok special. hugs. Rugby Ties and Punk says that last guy was like, Nope, nope, no. Nope. This isn't <laughs> happening. No. Fine, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. when a sweaty bearded man is in a giant Ewok costume and he's coming at you for a hug, you can only do two things. What's he going to do? You, you get can, turned on. You either get turned on or... <laughs> Or not turned on. (laughs) (laughs) Wah, wah, wah. (laughs) So I got to run around outside Comic-Con, and we did a video called Comic-Con 13, The Real Con Experience. Uh, There wasn't really a question. We just saw a lot of really cool stuff, and you guys commented on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, sticking with the musical theme, I'm going to go with Zoe Brooks. (laughs) <laughs> one zero one one two three says, "There's a grief that can't be spoken. There's a pain goes on and on. Empty chairs at empty tables. <laughs> I'm not going to Comic Con." Wait, Come Trisha, on, that was wait, hold on. Use your. That was good. You're <laughs> right, Red. Also, <laughs> I'm going to need you to use your frog voice a little more. No, I couldn't. Wait. I can't do his frog voice, but I love it so much. Trisha, how many YouTube accounts do you have where you go in there and put in <laughs> these saw me musical doing words? Musicals. <laughs> uh, thanks for being in my brain. Awkward Bird says, I've done too much complaining about not being there this weekend. We, I mean, look, I, I get it. Comic-Con's pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And it's... I don't know, it's an experience. Yeah. It really is. Like, we I, we tried to get it in this video, but it's just mm-hmm. some, there's something in the air. Yeah. yeah. I can feel yeah. it. I wish, I wish I knew about that. I was going to say, you've never been to Comic Con. Yeah. Really? What's the deal? What's going on? What? Are you afraid <laughs> of nerds or something? <laughs> no, I, lo- I am a nerd. Okay. I just don't. Leave you just my have house, never been. I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, I just sit at home and cry all day. So <laughs> there's well. a lot of people there. So if you get like claustrophobic by being yeah. around a ton of people, yeah, I've actually heard that about it. I think, yeah, I don't know if that would be a good thing for me. There's got to be, like, gotta be more to it than that. I think there's something you're not saying about it. <laughs> Steve, what are you trying to say right now? You can be honest. Oh. What are you trying to say? Shh. With that. <laughs> I just want to know what. Why you won't go to Comic-Con? I honestly just have never really had any express interest in Comic-Con. An ex-boyfriend, don't took, me, don't an ex-boyfriend took you to Comic-Con. <laughs> Who hurt you? Didn't me. Who hurt I, you? I, I never, no. <laughs> I'm just learning about Comic-Con. Like, I really am. So well, you gotta you, go. It's amazing. Yeah, one we'll, day. we'll take you next year. You'll come mm-hmm. as right, our buddy. Right, It'll right. be perfect. I'm It'll open to new experiences. Okay. Maybe I'll wear a corset. Shit. Boom! You, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. She gonna wear a corset. Yeah! Now you have to. So I may not have been to Comic Con, but I have heard mm-hmm. someone a little birdie in my ear said that Comic Con is not for nerds. So in this video, Meg was sounding off about Comic Con and it kind of leaking into the mainstream. Mm-hmm. It was a kind of a big bit. deal. Definitely. So there, was, there was a question here that we asked: Do you think Comic Con has been ruined by the addition of movies and TV shows, or do you think it's awesome all around? Ooh. Mm-hmm. That's so right. Awesome. Think? Mm-hmm. Ian Daugherty, sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> says, for me, it just means that we, the geeks, have won. We are now the most sought-after demographic. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, there was a time when the internet was for nerds. It's not a crime to like things anymore, and that's why cons and all they relate to now have mainstream appeal. Although I never had the privilege of attending Aww. Comic-Con. Oh, sorry. Yeah. See, there's plenty. You and I both. <laughs> there, yeah, there's plenty of people. Don't feel that far. Yeah, I I, think... I'm feeling more I'm part of the group now. Okay, yeah. good. There you go. Okay, yeah, good. I think it's time for the nerds to kind of have their day. I mean, there was a time also where it was pretty cool to be a nerd Devo and Revenge of the Nerds. There was mm-hmm. a big surgeon in the 80s the where 80s the thing. nerds were pretty cool. But yeah, I think it is. I think the world is opening up to more of the nerdy ways. Chant Room says, I think as the years go on, comic books are getting replaced. But to have the video game section there is not fair to the people who are still creating content. Mm. Like Trisha did a review on Made Fire, and I freaking love it. Mm. Um, I promise I didn't pick that comment because my knees in it. It just happened that way. But yeah, it's, <laughs> stop it. But no, um, I mean, yeah, it, it was kind of weird. And I think, Meg, you said this in the piece that 
some of the traditionally comic book section of the convention center was taken for video games. They didn't replace it entirely. Yeah. There right. are still sections for small press mm -hmm. and for comic book retailers, and mm -hmm. um, we saw plenty of that there still. So it's yeah. not being taken over entirely, mm -hmm. um, but it definitely, I, I, I will give to a lot of people that it is a little bit, you have to search a little bit harder for comic books. Like yeah, that. I mean, they're there. Like, anything I wanted to see was there. And also artists, like uh, Robert Kirkman was on the floor. There's still a lot of great mm -hmm. comic book creators hanging out. Mm -hmm. But the coolest thing, um, I think from the inside, since I used to work at DeviantArt and they sponsor Artist Sally, um, Artist Sally has stayed pretty true to their, I think it's 200 spaces they have. Um, and they've had a lot of pressure from big companies to give up that space. And they've really fought very hard uh, to keep it. And it's still there. And actually this year we saw a bigger section for fantasy artists. Um, J. Scott Campbell had a big booth this year. Uh -huh. That was amazing. Um, who, yes, I love our editors fanning himself. Yes, he's amazing. <laughs> um, so they're still, artists are still there in full force. They just are placed between yeah. um, bigger companies. Nick Navarro says, maybe since it's evolving, we should have what it's called evolve, like just call it San Diego Nerd Pop Con. A lot of people have suggested we change the name from Comic Con, but I What's like the, the legacy. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah it's Comic Con. I, I mean, mean, it, it just is... rolls off the tongue yeah. so easily. Yeah, I mean, and, and also for years and years and years, it's been called Comic Con. Why change the name now? I mean, it's just going to confuse people. And also, again, at the essence of Comic Con, the idea of it being about comic books is still there. It's still kind of like that pop culture, you know, fiction, science mm -hmm. fiction, you know, superhero type shit going on. Definitely. So, guys, what do you think? Should they change the name of ComCon? Should it say the same? Let us know in the comments down below. We got lots of cool stuff coming up this weekend. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah, we got a new movie thing show. We Ooh. sure do. Wolverine. Not excited, <laughs> but I have to see it. You know, I'm so skeptical, dude. I'm so skeptical. Stop it. It's going to be awesome. What? You Shit. can't say that, Trisha. You got to say, Shit, I hope you it's judgment. awesome. Um, we're also gonna have Movie Club, where we watch Confessions. <laughs> Confessions. We watch Confessions of a Night. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we also have uh, <laughs> bloops and all sorts of other cool stuff. So stay tuned. I'm Meg Turney. I'm, I'm Trisha Hirschberg. There goes. Uh, and Lacey Green. Yes, she is. Thank you, Lacey, for Woo! joining us. Thanks, guys. You got really yeah. educated today. Guys, so really, much. Really? You did learn so much. You learned a lot okay. about comics. We're starting names. We gotta, we gotta start over. Let's okay. start from okay. names. <laughs> so guys, we got lots of cool stuff coming your way. Stay tuned. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Lacey Green. Yay! Thanks for joining us, Lacey. Guys, thanks so much for educating me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at Comic Con now, and I have you all to thank for it. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for promising the internet, Lacey, and of course it next year. Yay! Do you think you learned a lot about Comic Con? Uh, a little bit. I got it. You gotta not have that happen. <laughs> 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 